I'm going to do a hypothesis test for two dependent means or matched pairs. Uh, notice how they give you these data about Friday the 6th and Friday the 13th kind of lined up together. So these are dependent means or matched pairs. And the question is with a significance of 0.05, test the claim that motor vehicle crashes are not affected. In other words, there's no difference in the number of crashes on Friday the 6th, depending upon on Friday the 6th as compared to Friday the 13th. I guess the implication is somehow Friday the 13th is supposed to be unlucky. Anyway, the hypothesis for this test, and it's a test on the difference, so if there's supposed to be no difference, the claim is that mu sub d equals zero. Let's go to the claim, let's go to the setup chart. So here's the setup chart. So the claim, it's this claim down here, so that the, instead of p, we're now talking about mu sub d, the mean difference. So the claim is that mu sub d is zero. The opposite is that it's not. H null is that mu sub d is zero, which is from the original claim. And H1 is that it's not zero, which makes for a two-tailed test. Now let's go back to the homework question. So let's see, what are the hypotheses for these tests? Mu sub d is the mean of the differences in the numbers of hospital admissions. And H null is mu sub d is equal to zero. H1 is mu sub d is not equal to zero. Now they're asking for the test statistic. So I guess that they are assuming you're using what's called the critical value method to do this. But we're going to use the p-value method and the calculator to draw our conclusions. So on the calculator, let me get out of here. So what we're going to do is we're going to enter these data into lists make their difference into the list L3, and then do a t-test on that list. So the first thing I want to do is clear out anything that I might have in list 1, list 2, and list 3. So I'm going stat, and number 4 is clear list. And what I want to do is clear list L1, comma L2, comma L3. There's L1, L2, and L3 are the blue things above 1, 2, and 3. So I'm going to go second L1 comma, second L2, comma, second L3, whoops, I forgot to put in the comma, comma, second L3, and now when I hit enter, I should get something that says done, that means that the lists are now empty. So now what I'm going to do is go stat, edit, and in the first list I'm going to enter the data from Friday the 6th, which was 10, enter, 5, enter, 11, enter, 11, enter, 4, enter, 4, enter, that's the Friday the 6th data, then I'm going to enter, I'm going to arrow over, go to L2, for Friday the 13th, the data were 14, enter, 11, enter, 14, enter, 10, enter, 6, enter, 11, enter, now notice the two lists, there should be the same number of numbers in each list, otherwise they remain a mistake in entering. And when you're entering a bunch of numbers, it's always worth double check that you didn't make a mistake. I'm looking at it now. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to arrow up to L3. Oh, I'm going to arrow to use the arrows to go up to L3. And for the list L3, I'm going to take the difference L1 minus L2. So I'm going second L1 minus second L2 and hit enter. And now L3, these are the differences. So this is 10 minus 14 is minus 4, 5 minus 11 is minus 6, etc. 
This is the list of data that we're going to do the t-test on. So once I get that done, I'm going to go to stat, tests, t-test, and I'm doing this t-test on data. Okay, now mu null, that's the mean difference value from the null hypothesis. This was zero. So mu null is zero. Now the list we want to do this on is L3, so don't leave L1 in there. So I'm going to L3 for my frequency list. So I'm going to go second L3. The frequency is one. It's always going to be one for us. The form of the alternate hypothesis was that mu sub d was not equal to zero. So it's a two-tailed test. Not equal is what I want there. And when I go down to calculate, I'll get the test statistic and the p-value. There's the test statistic, minus 2.9758, 2.9758. The p-value, which the, the homework isn't asking for that because they think you're using the critical value method, but we're still going to use the p-value method, 0.03094. Nine. Okay, so going back to the homework question, uh, the test statistic they want it rounded to three decimal places. It looks like it is negative 2.975, 2.976 rounded to three decimal places. Okay, now for the conclusion, remember the p-value was 0.03, which was less than 0.05. So because the p-value is less than 0.05, we're going to reject H null. It was from the original claim. Reject H null from the original claim. Reject H null from the original claim. And when I look at the chart, reject H null from the original claim. There is sufficient evidence to reject the claim that there's no difference. There's sufficient evidence to reject the claim. Let's see which answer says that. There's sufficient evidence to reject the claim. There's sufficient evidence to reject the claim. There's sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim. There is sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim. There is sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim. There is sufficient evidence of the claim. Hospital admissions do not appear. No, they do appear to be effective. There is sufficient evidence to re reject the claim. Hospital admissions appear to be affected. C. Check. Excellent.